always use Woodwick candles in my whispered rambles and recently I stopped using them so for the good old times sake I brought them back <laughs> I've also noticed that I used to do like um, very specific um, heavy eye makeup by the way if you can hear some weird sounds that's eyes here um, very specific eye makeup and that makeup would kind of hide how puffy my eyes were and I really need that again you know I would always put like darker eyeshadows um, like right under my eyes and that would hide the puffiness and I kind of need it this time as well so I tried to recreate the makeup look from those times as well those times meaning 2021 now I also have um, eyes here not just eyes I also have cider I used to drink cider in my videos too so allow me to open the can and I'll pour it before we'll start the video I think I just went like partially deaf when I was trying to open the can because it was so loud so I edit that the next day, usually when I've had really long videos, I would have to do that. 
years old. And luckily no one got hurt. No one was in that house at the moment. Thank God, like, thank God. Um, of course there were some valuable items stolen. Some very important items stolen that I will never see again. But as long as no one got hurt, that's what's important, right? But I'm going to be honest, like, this... This kind of hit me hard, and... Like, I already had this, like, accumulated stress from dealing with the police, like, already. And then there was, like, the police again, and even though it wasn't related at all, it just wasn't good for my mental health. Like, I was not sleeping for a couple of days. I was very tired, and... The, uh, oh, and by the way, I was supposed to edit the Doris Payne video Who is or who was a thief and like the last thing I wanted to do was to edit a video about a thief when something like this happened I'm pretty sure you can kind of imagine <laughs> how stressful and awful that would be so I decided to just not edit that video and just save it for later and just take this time off, really. I, I really needed it. I really needed it, guys. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and, like, I think because of that, um, um, because, again, like, it brought so much stress onto my life again, I haven't fully recovered yet from, like, my previous, I don't even know what to call it, physical breakdown, I guess. Even though I feel fine now mentally, like physically, I don't feel that well. And I guess I have a fragile health in general. And so I really need to like take care of myself. You know, um, my mental health I think is much stronger than my physical health in general. Don't ask me why, it's just the way that I am. So, yeah. Um, by the way, um, this new job that I got, I don't think it will be that stressful. Like, honestly, I was stressing a lot about my channel and, like, everything else. So much that, like, just getting another job would kind of ease that stress a lot with certain bills. I don't want to go into much detail because I will actually explain this very well in today's video that I will post for my patrons, but there's like basically just like this set amount of money that I have to pay for, like health insurance and stuff, when I am a YouTuber. Um, it doesn't matter really like what kind of profession you are, that you just have to pay a certain amount of money. and. You cannot just be like, oh, I will not pay this because you will go into debt. And right now, I'm making way less money from my channel that, that, that it doesn't even cover those expenses. So that means I, I have to fund it from other activities. Literally, like, if you think that I do ASMR for the money, I think this will kind of prove to you that I really don't in a way I'm losing my money um, every month because I have my channel. <laughs> so this will kind of ease that tension that I've had, you know, because I had to fund it just through other stuff. Plus I'm excited anyway about the job, so like I think that will not stress me out as much as so in a way, like, having the job will not stress me out as much as not having it, if that makes sense. I, I think it does, really. Right? Um, okay, I don't want to end this video on a negative note, so, um, I feel pretty inspired to film new videos. Again, I think just not, I guess the thing, like, just not having the stress with posting, because... There were times when I was, like, kind of forcing myself to post because I didn't want to lose even more money than I was already losing, and so, um, I think in a way it kind of, um, it, I guess how would I say this? I was sometimes just not really 
really creative anymore, like all I cared about was the amount of content that I was posting. Not that I hated my videos or anything like that, but still, like, I didn't have time to do, like, the mythology videos like I used to do last year. Like, that was out of the question completely. Um, and I guess in a way I might not have time for that either with the new job. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But, you know, I used to, like, I feel like my content used to be way more diverse than it is now. Um, not that I don't like the videos. I like filming, you know, book hauls and talking about books and stuff. But I would like to do other stuff as well. So, I feel inspired again to like come up with new ideas, but sometimes I have these ideas and I'm like, there's no way that I can actually film this because it's like, or I think like it's stupid because I haven't seen any other ASM artists do it. There's actually been a video that I filmed in December that's kind of like that and I didn't post it yet. Maybe I should post it. Maybe I'll post it in a few weeks. Okay, I'll, I'll try to post it. I'll not tell you what video it is, but I think you can, you will tell based on my hair, because usually you can tell, like, um, the sequence of my videos based on how, how much my root is showing, because <laughs> my hair goes, grows really quickly. But, um, yeah, um, I have a few more book hauls coming up, um, because when I'm stressed out, I buy books. And what else? What else? More facts, videos. I have some pre-filmed. I know that you guys posted, like, um, or commented recommendations. I will get around to those, like, once I will actually post all of the pre-filmed videos. And, um, what else? What else can we talk about? I don't know. I'm just... Like, in a way, although something awful happened, I I used to have this motto back in university. And that was, like, for the amount of bad stuff that happens, the same amount of good stuff has to happen to balance it out. You know, I would always say, like, life is always about balance. Like, you cannot just have good stuff and no bad stuff, right? And because <laughs> so many bad stuff happened, in the first six months of this year. Hopefully, the next six months will be much better. Um, kind of like, you know, like, this idea is not new, right? Like, kind of like yin and yang, like, always, like, you have 50-50 of everything. That used to be, like, my, my motto, um, back in uni. So sometimes when I would, like, fail, an exam I'll be like, okay, well, I failed this, even though, of course, it was my doing, right? But whatever. And <laughs> I'll be like, okay, I failed this, but that means that something really good will happen now. And I will believe in this too. You know, when I feel really down and awful, I'm, I'm always like, okay, because this awful stuff happened, something really good has to happen now. So. video.